probably gonna need the snake for something. I mean, I can't go where it is. And there's an instrument there too. Would be weird if I couldn't do anything with it. Why would a tree suddenly ta start talking now? Why would they suddenly become alive? That's weird. Check it out! Fruit! No thanks! These are our only rows. We don't want to get them all sticky. It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit! With a pit inside! Oh my god! It's so simple! Why didn't we get that? Oh man! That's been bugging us all day! But what does it have to do with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just something our friend Becky Yorn told us this morning. She thinks she's so smart. I can't wait to rub this thing in her face. So, uh, can I go in there now? Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Knock yourself out. Yeah. I don't like you. Whoa. That's... something. The top of this pyramid is transparent. So strange. Such strange shapes in here. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. Guess this is where they buried their old god. I should probably steal the thing in the woodcutter's house. It's the same shape, it's gotta be together. Don't make me come up there. Wait, can I give them something? Gross, <laughs> Drusilla! Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Um, is this about the feathers we took for our costumes? She's gonna have them back! I'm sorry. Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great! Ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I exude it naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mog Chopra about you, Drusilla. It says Beast Hooker. Who wouldn't want that? Oh, maybe I can use that on the snake. Use Better not waste my Beast Hooker on that. What does this say? Okay, this time, I'm sure I went the right way. What a weird shape. Hey! Snake head. <laughs> cold. <laughs> yes, yes, let me... Oh, yeah. It's... I can't use my hands. Okay, so do not go that way. Got okay. it. I guess that doesn't work. I feel like I should get to know that guy before I steal his art. Hi. Hey, Bella. Hey, about this art. Yeah? What is it? Well, you know. It's abstract. <laughs> it's kind of a tone poem, really. Uh-huh. I find it does some interesting things with the space between viewer and image. Okay. It doesn't do anything. Can I have it? No way, man. That thing's vintage. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this slightly shady girl from Shell Mound. Said she was selling it to get money to move out of town. Oh, she moved out of town for the slaughter. Good for her. 
Aren't you bothered by its elitist themes? I probably would be, if I had such a superficial understanding of the work. How do you know it's hanging right side up? Because the dude's little feet go on the bottom, duh. I like how it matches your decor. Decor? I don't have a decor. The purpose of art is not decor, man. Why do you have it up then? I only had it up there ironically, but I was actually getting sick of it. If you like it, just take it. Really? You're a hipster. Okay. Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. He's a hipster. Okay, I'm taking this. Cool. I like that kind of stuff when I was your age, too. How old are you? How old am I? Run. Come on, run. Why are all your buildings made of sand? I found my circuit control router. That's awesome. Now I can fire up the ship and get back to Laruna. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks for finding my circuit control router. I lost it during the crash and couldn't find it anywhere. I drew pictures of it for the locals and kept saying, Give me this. Give me this. After a few years, I just had to put myself in cryogenic storage and hope someone smarter would come along and find it. Are you the dead eye god? Man. That's so embarrassing. The locals called me that when my spaceship crashed here, and I kind of went along with it because, well, you know, God. <laughs> Were you really dead? No, I was just preserved in cryogenic suspension for 300 years. I guess all the locals I knew here are long dead. Aww. That's kind of a relief. <laughs> they were a little annoying. That's probably the reason I went into Chrysolation to tell you the truth. Okay. Does the ship you mentioned have any weapons? Hey, whoa. There's a giant monster that is destroying villages and eating young girls, and it may or may not have already... My whole family might be... Anyway, I just need to take down a horrible monster. Will you help? I... I mean, sure. I, I owe you one. But my ship didn't have any weapons that I know of. I'll dig around once I get this heap working and let you know. Can I help? Depends. You know anything about spaceships? No. I'm just a baker from sugar bunting. Sugar bunting? Is that anything like steel bunting? When I first landed, there was this town called Steel Bunting that the locals were all afraid of. Apparently, it's full of badasses. <laughs> so we're standing in a spaceship? Just the upper observation deck. The rest of it's buried underneath. I'm going to need to fix more wiring before I can even gain access to it. Hmm. What's Laruna? That's my home planet. Or at least it was. Who knows if it's even still there. What's all this equipment do? This is the main observation deck of my ship. So this stuff mostly scans for signs of life or habitable worlds. Anything that would help the mission. What was your mission? Operation Dandelion. The Runa was dying. The spaceship was supposed to give us a fresh chance in a new home. But instead, we crashed here. Like the kid in the other part of the game. And he's kind of dressed similar, too. How'd your ship crash? 
I hate to think about it, but there's a chance it was me. I tried to hack into the ship's controls and take over. Then some weird stuff happened, and the next thing I know, I'm here. Okay, see you later. Uh-huh.